Hey there Aquarius, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a general message, so if it resonates, go ahead and take it. If this is not your situation, try a different message and see if that one does resonate for you. We're going to start with the Romance Angel Oracles, and then we're going to get into the Light Seers Tarot and see what's coming up for you guys. Whoa, Aquarius, we've got cards coming out. All right, let me, my goodness. All right, let's try that again. For Aquarius, please and thank you, Spirit. Release your ex, but it's in the reverse. The time has come to clear your energy. Wow, and we've got soulmate at the bottom of the deck. For some of you guys, this is an ex back reading. You've already released your ex. You've already cleared the energy. So have they, but they're coming back. Could it be that you guys have healed everything and now you actually vibrate on the same level? Could it be that you guys have actually like done that inner healing that needed to be done? I, I just heard somebody say, baby, please let me find out. Yes. <laughs> I hear you guys talking so loud. Yeah, look at that. Wow. And calling in your soulmate. I just split the deck. You guys are calling in an ex because this ex is your soulmate. You know what? I'm, oh my gosh, I haven't channeled this in so long, but it's reminding me of the rubber band effect. Do you guys remember that? Those of you guys that have been for around, around for a while, you probably do, but uh, my newbies, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. So some relationships come into your life to point out things that you need to work on. So you guys go and work on these things. But then you meet up again later in life after you've worked on these things and you can actually like build some kind of a relationship, even if it's a friendship or, you know, whatever it is. But sometimes it doesn't work out at first. So you go your separate ways only to wind up back in each other's lives later on. I'm getting one of those phenomenal situations. It's rare. Look, someone from your past and you're both still thinking about each other. Yep. Sitting there thinking about each other. Somebody lays up, um, when they lay down to go to sleep at the end of the day, they sit there thinking about you. What it would be like if you were still in their life. What it would be like if you guys were still together. Yep. The loss, the sadness, even regret that it didn't work out. Somebody was really broken hearted. They felt like they had to flush this love down the drain. I really liked this one. I really thought this was going to be the one. Woo, you guys, I'm about to cry. Like, I felt that. I felt that so deep in my soul. Yeah, yeah, I felt that. <laughs> the high priestess. I felt that, but it looks like things are not what they seem. At the time, that's what it looked like, but in reality, that was temporary. You guys are coming back together again. Somebody here is a high priest, high priestess. Somebody here is a very strong psychic medium. Um, could very well be a tarot reader. So whether you're the tarot reader or you are the person in love with the tarot reader. For Aquarius, please and thank you, Spirit. What are the additional messages you'd like to add? Got our lucky black cat that just came out here. Oh, wow. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And the King of Cups. Somebody said, I don't want to be single anymore. I don't want to be single anymore. Somebody's manifesting love. But they can't manifest love because the love that they want is in their past. They have to go back and get it. Technically, you're not going back, though, because you've both grown and learned your lessons and matured. But you are 
going back to somebody that's already been in your life in order for this to work. This person is open-hearted. They're ready to receive love. They're emotionally available. And they don't want to be single anymore. That's why they're calling in the soulmate. Whether it's you or this person. You guys are calling each other in. I don't want to be single anymore. I want to be with them. Or this is somebody saying... Oh, this could even be somebody saying, I know you're attractive. You got a lot going for yourself. You're very independent. But I don't want to watch you have to be independent when I can be there for you. This is somebody that wants to be your rock. Your shoulder. Your confidant. Yeah, you guys are still holding on to each other. Still holding on to each other. You're both holding back, too, from relationships. Waiting for the right one. Yeah, somebody's no longer in that nightmare energy. Will this ever end? Yes, it will. It is right here. As soon as somebody reaches out, look at that. The King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, that's a true pair. You guys match each other. You're a vibrational match. You suit each other. I'm trying to hold them right so you can... Yep, King and Queen of Cups. This is a perfect match. Somebody could have red hair. I was channeling that in the Capricorn reading, uh, Lady in Red. <laughs> I don't even think I said it out loud. Yeah, this nightmare ends when somebody reaches out. I feel like both of you guys were absolutely devastated. This was a very difficult breakup. I'm even getting a situation where somebody's not able to receive and they're struggling. Like, why can't I manifest? Why can't I manifest? Because you're supposed to be manifesting with this person or this person will help you to manifest these things. You're not meant to manifest them alone. You're not meant to be single anymore. You don't want to be single anymore or you're not meant to. And that's why this connection, this soulmate is coming in. Somebody's not happy being single. Being single does not make them happy. It's difficult. It's hard. 999 and the hermit, that's four nines. I know I got 999 in somebody else's reading recently. I don't remember who. If you guys do remember, will you please put it in the comments? I think it was a Libra reading. I could be wrong. But yeah, that's all coming to an end. It only ends when there's a rebirth in this connection. Somebody is definitely coming back around. And they're awakened now. They get it now. They see what they need to see now. Especially with the amount of Major Arcana in this reading, I feel like the Divine really took a hold of this situation and made sure both of you would be ready for coming back together in the future wild how a lot of the readings are like that but we do have mercury retrograde so i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here i hope this message helps who it needs to how it needs to i love you guys and i'll see you soon until next time stay blessed stay beautiful and namaste